Mark Scar on the Scar Card on 103.7 The Fox. I'm proud to welcome in Mr. Scott Holt from Fog Hat. Scott, how are you? I'm doing great, Mark. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for talking to us about the new Fog Hat record. Wow, there's been 17 of them. Sonic yeah. Mojo, the first one in seven years. Congratulations. Thank you very much, man. We're real excited about it. I can't wait for people to hear it. And this is your first... It's my first full album with them. I worked on uh, Under the Influence some. I co-wrote some of the songs and actually sang a couple of tracks on there. But this is uh, my first record with Foghead as officially the, a member of the band. Scott, for the benefit of our listeners, please tell me about yourself and your musical background. Well, I started out um, playing guitar for Buddy Guy. I joined Buddy in 1989 and worked with him until 2000. And then I started a solo career and put out seven records on my own. And then uh, Roger and I hooked up in, I think, 2014 or 15 and started writing songs together and just uh, hit it off as friends and creative partners. And it's led to this. So. And what's it like playing for such a legendary band? I'm real grateful for this point in my career. I'm playing with uh, some of the best musicians I've ever worked with. It's an extremely creative group. We're always writing new music. We're always moving forward. It's so much fun to play on stage with them. I mean, everybody's delivering 110% every single time we play. So it's just a lot of fun. I'm real grateful for the opportunity. Talking to Scott Holt from Foghat about Sonic Mojo, the new record. Six originals, six covers. I want to start with the originals because you have the occasion to write with the late, great Kim Simmons, who, of course, Foghat fan will know the fog hat guys were basically the original Savoy Brown so I'm sure quite a thrill to for Roger especially to keep that friendship going up until the end here and, and contribute to Sonic Mojo absolutely Roger reached out to Kim when we started working on this record and uh, asked him if he would write a song for us and record with us and he said sure so he, he wrote three songs for us and um, then he unfortunately passed away before we had a chance to record with him. But Kim was always just a great friend to Roger and, and to me as well. I mean, I got to know Kim pretty well, and, and we became really good friends. And, and uh, I'm grateful that I got to know him and that we became friends. But uh, he wrote us some great songs, and, you know, we we put them in the fog hat machine and <laughs> did our thing to them, and I'm proud of them. Talking to Scott Holt from Fog Hat about Sonic Mojo. Uh, how did you pick the covers for this record? You know, it's kind of like we do everything. You know, everybody kind of comes to the table with their ideas about what they want to do. And, and uh, Roger had a couple of songs that he was really specific that he wanted to try and some ideas that he had, one of which was the Rodney Crowell song, A Song for Life. He loved the lyric in that. So we kind of took that, messed with it until it, it sounded like something that we could <laughs> get our hands around. Mean Woman Blues, which was uh, an old Elvis, Jerry Lee Lewis song, but we did it as a more of a Latin thing, and uh, that was Roger's urging, too. So, But everybody comes with their you know, their suggestions and their plans, and Brian and I are in charge of the guitar parts, and Roger handles the drums, and Rodney handles the bass, and me and Rodney do the singing, and that's how it ends up. Yeah, you've also got a Chuck Berry tune on there, Promised Land. That was a fun one to do. Uh, it kind of full circle with that because um, it's, it's proper for a Foghat record to have a Chuck Berry tune. You know, they did Maybelline back in the day, and, and it's also proper that we kind of brought it back to almost a country kind of feel, which when Chuck Berry started out, you know, I mean, his Maybelline was originally called Out of Red, and it was more of a country tune. So it's, it's kind of a lot of full circle stuff going on with this record. Yeah, and B.B. King, she's dynamite. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. I was real proud to get that on there. B.B.'s one of my favorite guitar players, one of my biggest influences. So to do something as a nod to him was a big deal for me. Dr. Scott Holt from Fog Hat about Sonic Mojo. Of course, you mentioned your guitar player, Brian Bassett, one-time member of Wild Cherry, been with Fog Hat for close to 25 years now, and he produced this. Yeah, Brian is such a talented guy. I mean, aside from being a great guitar player, he's a fantastic engineer. Uh, he's got a history as an engineer doing a lot of music in the past. And it, like you said, he, he played with Wild Cherry. He's the one that wrote the guitar riff for Play That Funky Music, mm -hmm. which a lot of people, they know that riff. They don't even know the lyrics, but they know that riff. So <laughs> 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 he should get a dollar from every single person that knows that song. And you guys play it, too, live. We do. It's, it's kind of a fun thing, and, and I like to give that nod to Brian because he's such a humble, self-effacing guy that he's not the guy that would come up to you and tell you that, he wrote that riff, but I will. I follow behind him going, hey, he wrote that. He wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't do too shabby in like 1976, so why not? No, not at all. And then um, also spent some time on with uh, Molly Hatchet. 
did uh, Brock Yeah, he Massett. was Molly Hatchet for a while, and uh, he's had a really interesting career. And then Rodney O'Quinn, who came into the band after the passing, well, during the time when uh, Craig McGregor was ill, but uh, spent some time with Pat Travers, and I think he was kind of the, the road manager and bass player at one point. I think he was the bass player, truck driver, and uh, <laughs> chief bottle washer. I, th- I think he had all, all the hats. But uh, Rodney's a great guy, really talented musician, fantastic singer. We split the vocal duties in the band these days, and he does a great job. And we're real supportive of each other, and we're about the same age. We're the two youngest guys in the band, so we kind of bond on that, and just we love to play. That's what we live for. It's all about the music. And, of course, the guy that's been holding up the uh, rhythm the entire time, Mr. Roger Earl. The Energizer Bunny. He's the North Star of this band. If it's if it's if there's any question about doing something, you know, is this Fog Hat? He's the one that leans over and goes, "Of course it's Fog Hat." <laughs> so I get so much inspiration from Roger. He's one of my best friends. You know, I, I just I love making music with him and, and just hanging out. Talking with Scott Holt from Fog Hat. What's your favorite song from the classics for you to sing and play? There's a bunch of them. I mean, you gotta you gotta put Slow Ride on there. I mean, that that song goes back to my childhood. You know, I remember going to school and hearing Slow Ride on the radio, and it's fun to play that every night. But I love Home in My Hand. It's, it's a fun one to play, and uh, I like the ones that have the the vocal harmonies on them because when I get Brian and Rodney to sing it, it really makes it a big sound. So, but yeah, I'm I'm grateful to get to play any of them. I love all the songs. Foghat was fortunate enough to have a number of songs in their catalog, the must-plays. you got to play Driving Wheel, you got to yeah. play Fool for the City. So it's a nice problem to have. It's funny you mention that because a couple of weeks ago we were having to, uh, we had to do a short set. And so we were having to go through the set list and figure out what we were going to take out. And every song that got suggested, somebody would go, oh, that's my favorite, though. Oh, I like playing that song. Oh, let's take that one out. And it got down to the point where it was just, you know, absurd. And I, and I pointed at Roger, and I said, well, this is your fault. You just got too many good songs. <laughs> so, And that's true. I mean, the catalog is its a healthy catalog of, of good material. How do you think the new Sonic Mojo stuff will fit along with the classics? Man, I hope it stacks up. I'm real proud of it. The guys are proud of it. I've been listening to it pretty much nonstop since we finished it. And uh, it holds up. I mean, the songs are good. The performances are good. And it's a, a celebration of American music, which is what Foghat's been about since the beginning. I mean, go back through the catalog. They've accessed everything from blues to R&B to all genres of music, all American music. And it just uh, it continues that celebration. So I, think it's, I hope it's going to stack up. I hope people like it. Talking to Scott Holt from Foghat. What's the rest of this year and next year looking like for you? We've still got some touring to do. we got a few more shows this year, a couple of record release parties that we're going to do for the new record. And, you know, we'll wind down towards the end of December and reconvene in January and start the machine up again. So The demand is definitely still there. Isn't that amazing, 50-plus years later? Yeah, it's, it's really something. I mean, that speaks to the quality of the material. You know, I mean, it's uh, good music doesn't have a shelf life, so... Fortunately, I get to be a part of it at this point, so I'm grateful for that. Scott, it seems obvious, but we should tell our listeners where they can find Fog Hat online and, and how they can get Sonic Mojo. You can go to the website, foghat.com, or any of the typical avenues of streaming services or any of that stuff. But go to foghat.com, and you'll get all the inside info on Fog Hat and where we are and what we're doing and why we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, the existential question. <laughs> you bet. Scott, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it, and uh, all the best going forward with Sonic Mojo. Mark, thank you so much, man. I enjoyed talking to you. That's Scott Holt from Fog Hat. I'm Mark Scar. This is the Scar Card on 103.7 The Fox.